when I do them, you guys don't seem too hyped. When I don't do them, I cannot stop hearing about how you guys want them back. So today, by popular demand, with the Alpha Romeo's return, we're doing... Bye. A build a day. The series on the channel where I go through all the brand new and sometimes older cars in racing games, any racing game, and I rank them on the pedometer. The list of cars, whether they are bad in a, in a good way, or if they, you know, if they're just if they're just bad, like they're actually just bad, you know. Some cars are just <laughs> well, they're bad. Really. And today we have, well, the most cars ever added to the crew at one time. Ever added to a crew game at once. We have every single Alfa Romeo. I should already own this. Why don't I own that? What the, uh, what the hell? What, I, I, whoa, 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 whoa. These should have all vehicle transferred. Oh, and this is available today, I guess. What's, what's going on? What's going on here, huh? Is it the thing where I have to go back on the crew too to actually unlock the cars? I mean, it's cool seeing them all back and we're gonna be checking out this thing today. This thing is gonna be ranked on the pedometer, the Julia GTAM, because it's brand new. Like all of these are fun and all, but that one's, that one's fresh and new. Let's check out the shop because there's a bundle out today for the GTAM. And now that I'm looking at this bundle, I don't want, I don't want this bundle. This bundle looks bad. I mean, the underglow is nice, but I'd rather just buy the underglow. I was this close to buying this bundle, but no, I'm glad I, I'm glad I haven't. Wasn't this in the, wasn't this in the summit yesterday? I didn't even have to do the summit to get that. Oh my God, well, I'm gonna buy, I'm gonna buy that now. Yeah, what, what the hell? Absolutely. It was me thinking I would have had to do the summit to get it. Hmm. I guess exclusives don't exist. So let's buy the GTAM on its own. Here it is. We will get it in. Oh, the white is really nice looking. I gotta say, the white is very nice looking. There we go. We got three Julias in game now as well. We got the base Julia, we got this Julia, and then we got uh, the Julia Outclassed Edition. So just the, the Julia but green. Here we go. Wait, why, why was I up here? I don't remember being up here, but this thing looks nice and it is so cool to see Alfa Romeo back in the game. It feels so weird. I don't know. It feels a weird kind of fresh, honestly. To see Alfa Romeo in Motorfest, it's like, I, 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 that's strange how that is, right? That it actually feels quite cool to have them here now. Yeah, it's, it's sick seeing Alfa Romeo back. Huh. So many new cars, so many cars back in this game. And a new one coming with them, the GTA M model of the Julia. Now, you guys are going to have to tell me what the relevance of this thing is. Because I don't really, I don't really know. Right? Like, this is kind of whatever to me. As well as where you would rank this thing on the pedometer. So make sure you, you leave that down there. Why has it got a black fender on the back, but no custom fender on the front? That's weird. No, that looks a bit odd. Having just the rear fender and not the front fender. Strange. Ow. Okay. The spoiler's cool, I will say. And uh, the rest of the thing, I mean, the, the, the front bumper's nice. As far as I remember, there's no customization on the base, Julia. So I don't expect much here. And I guess that's I guess let's go into that honestly. Let's 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 take off the band-aid. Let's ruin my hopes and dreams now rather than later. Here we go. Visual parts. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. I assume it's gonna be basic stuff, but okay, that is disgusting. <laughs> that's grim. No, absolutely not. Okay. Blacked out lights. Nice. And then we got primary color instead of carbon fiber. That that's I prefer it. Oh, we got a bigger splitter and some more little fins there. We got, what is that? What, what, what's, the, what's the difference? Oh, okay, right, primary color but blacked out lights. Why is the order like this? And then blacked out, whoa, yellow, okay. Okay, so we got three different types of front bumpers and then the different combinations of the lights as well in like this weird order. Okay, oh well. But I guess, I mean, I'm not going really with a color that yellow would make sense. So I guess I'm gonna go with blacked out but primary color. Yes, thank you. Don't tell me there's a wide body. Oh, whoa! <laughs> okay, never mind. Hang on, can I confirm something here? I swear the other Julia doesn't have cars. Oh, I can't check because I don't own the car technically anymore. I'll fix it though, I'll fix it. Nice. Okay, okay, then nothing there. We'll go with that there. Yup, we'll go with, I guess, no, we'll go with this one. Because obviously we're going primary color. In fact, why did I put the wide body on? I don't know. <laughs> oh, well. We'll go with oh we oh we can primary cut that weird 
weird that it... Is this car, like, buy stock, front wide body only? I, I mean, not really. What a weird... What a weird design. Okay, what is that? That's just nothing. Oh, it comes with a roll cage inside there? What the hell? Okay. This thing's kind of cool. We got primary color again. We got the little four-leaf clover. We got... Oh, much nicer. We got... That. Oh, actually, can I do this? But is that just a bone stock? Can I do this one, but primary color? Hello? I can't. That's dumb. Oh, well. Let's see what liveries people have done to this thing. This brand new Alfa Romeo. Ooh. Hang on a minute. Oh. Now that looks nice. Oh, my. It's so cool. To you know what it is? It's because they've not been in a motorfest. We haven't seen them have good quality yet, basically. We haven't seen Alfa Romeo in the higher quality game, which is motorfest. Visually only. We know how I feel about the rest of the game. But it's nice to now finally get to see this car in this pristine pr condition rather than the Crew 2's rather janky graphics. And this one, I will say the car model on this one is just so high quality. I guess because it's a new car. I cannot get over how, how nice this car model actually is. God damn. They outdid themselves. Oh my god. Polygon count of a goddamn million at this thing. Like, what, what, are, you, what are you talking about? That is, that is lovely. The hell? Sorry, am I just geeking out here? I'm, I'm geeking out. That's, that's, that's cool that that's that high quality. Obviously, we got vanity items. We gotta put that on as well. I mean, I don't really go for anything wild and wacky anymore. I, oh wait, have they limited the vanities? Because I swear slicks on that early. Or am I just, am I just making that up? Am I just, am I, am I actually just making that up? I think... They... No, they've definitely limited... Uh, no. No. No, that's just me. Uh, that's just me. Hey, look. Alpha Romeo would be the type to limit vanities. Did you see the customization on the new Stradale? And by did you see, I mean, did you have your eyes closed? Because that's essentially the equivalent of seeing the customization on that car. I'll black out the windows. Why not? And then we'll... What I do want as a vanity is I want windows, but they just have, like, the, the netting. You know, the NASCAR netting on the one side? I want that as a, as a vanity item. Then, <clears throat> whoa, what was that? What happened to my voice? That wasn't even like a voice break. That was like a voice malfunction. That was rather bad. Honestly. Let's put a retro engineering. We got V8. Well, we'll just put a V8 American engine in it. You know what? Why not? Because screw you, Alpha. <laughs> okay. This looks... So silly. <laughs> so silly. God, I will say though, it's it's fresh. It's nice having a car like this back. It's making the game feel... Why why am I in a ghost town? For what? Where's the traffic? Where's the traffic? I know that we don't have pedestrians anymore, but where the hell is the traffic? I mean, I know traffic's annoying, but I literally feel like I've... Like, what, did the rapture just happen? Am I going to hell? Is that what's going on here? I guess I'm going to hell. What's... What, where, the, where the hell is everyone? I could have sworn that looked like traffic, but then they disappeared. What is going on? Oh, well, okay. I will say it is very fresh seeing Alfa Romeo back here. It's really cool seeing them return, honestly. Just just being able to drive them here. It's satisfying looking, you know? It's... it's <sighs> Something feels... I don't know why. I don't know why I, I've never felt when there's a new... When the, when the year one pass cars are added, I never feel as like, whoa. Right now, I'm feeling pretty whoa. It's cars in game. It's making me want to restart the game again, which I do need to do at some point, honestly. Well, let's do how what we always do, and let's take this thing into a race. You know what? So goddamn long ago, I accidentally started the racing playlist. I Because it's, a, cause it's a, a series, it's goddamn recommended me it constantly because it treats it like an unfinished playlist. So let me just go and do that. Because it still wants me to goddamn finish that series. So I'm going to have to go do that. I guess we'll figure out what this thing is like with tire wear again. Which that'll be fun. The game looks nice here as well, honestly. And like, I will say the physics of this game. I've got a friend who really vouches for the physics of the Crew Motor Fest. He's, he calls them like some of the best physics he's ever driven in a racing game. And he's not a Crew fan at all. He hated the Crew too. Uh, or at least thought it got really goddamn stale and really sucked and he, uh, I had to force him to get on the game every time he wanted to film. But he loves the physics of this game. He's a need for speedhead as well. He's not hes not like, really a cool guy. But he's all over these physics and honestly, I get it. I get it. These are probably some of the best all-around physics in any racing game at the moment. Unbound definitely does what Unbound does well. Forza takes itself too seriously. And, well, 
now. This, this game is, is pretty good for car physics. Only issue with this game is, is that anything that isn't a car utterly sucks balls. The bikes suck. The quad bikes suck. The hel- there's no helicopter. Well, that sucks. The planes suck. The boats suck. They need, need to refresh all of the vehicles that aren't cars. Because the cars are great in this game, honestly. The physics are great. I might do some challenges and stuff with the Alpha Romeos and whatnot. It could be a bit of fun doing some, uh, some, some challenges with the boys. You know, get the boys on. Could do that. I could probably do a grand race with just Alfa Romeos and see if I could win that. But let me know if you want to see some more videos with these goddamn Alphas. Because, hey, it took them a while to get in this game. Speaking of Alphas, let's do this Alpha GP event in an Alpha Romeo. Wait, year one pass is a filter? I didn't know year one pass was a filter. Okay, that's kind of cool. Huh. Nice, I guess. I guess this is so people can see, you know, okay, well, should I buy the year one pass? Should I spend 40 quid on all of these cars? The year one pass, looking at it here, it's... 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 Sure is a handful of cars. Okay, here we go. It is, again, still so nice seeing this thing in game, but I'm glad, honestly, honestly, let me, let me, let me say, I'm glad the customization on this thing exists. I'm glad the car exists. Is it a bit meh when it comes to this is just a Julia? I mean, yeah. I mean, I mean, come on. I mean, look, look, the Julia is great and all, but this is just another Julia. Realistically, we can't, we can't, we can't, we can't, we can't say much for that. Ah! Damn it. But again, I, you're gonna have to tell me what the hell the GTAM is, right? Because, like, I, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't get the hype behind this thing. I don't, I, I, why is it something that people, like, when people first saw this, people were like, W. People said W when they first saw this car being revealed. And I'm like, what are you talking about? Why is the Alfa Romeo Julia Grand Theft Auto Man Andreas meta? Oh, good in any way. Because the thing with the crew is that we don't get many cars. Look, we don't get Forza level cars, right? Quantity wise. So having duplicate cars is often a bit of a waste. So getting this thing is, is cool and all. It definitely is a cooler looking Julia. I just don't know if it's a justifiably cooler looking Julia. It is really nice. I, you know what? It is really, it is really nice. The other version is pretty, pretty, it's pretty nice. It is right there. And God, is it a high quality model. Damn. Like, I shouldn't be enjoying this car as much, but for some reason, it is putting this whole game in a new light to me. I'm enjoying driving it. I'm enjoying the the, the handling. I'm enjoying how it looks. It's It actually had customization, which was a pretty big surprise. Something about this car is 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 reawakening the game to me, and it, and it shouldn't be. And it really shouldn't be. Oh, God. And naturally, it has now turned into a drift car because we're playing in the goddamn... Uh, motorsports playlist! But, fellas, you're stuck here. You're playing this motorsports playlist with me on every goddamn car until I finish this damn playlist and it stops telling me to do the playlist. But it means I can hit drifts like this. Come on, clean! Oh, nice! And then now we're going to have to hit the box or else we're going to be in absolute tatters. We are going to be in absolute shambles. Let's do it. Nice. Is it going to do the cutscene? It'll do the little... Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. I forgot it does that. Whoa, cool. Completely forgot it does that. Very sick. The crew putting detail? What? Okay, well, that's gone actually pretty well. And you know what? I've enjoyed the car. But in some weird way, I've really enjoyed this car. I think it might even rank up pretty high on the pedometer. I'm, I'm, I'm chucking it out there. Could rank pretty highly. Nice. Very, very nice. What? You're telling me we came first? What? Oh, I didn't know everyone's back there. What the hell? <laughs> That's kind of cool. God, I wish this game had more replayability, man. I wish it had more replayability. Well, let's rank it on the pedometer. So here we are, the pedometer again. Where would you rate the Alfa Romeo GTA M? Because look, 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 look. I know that it should be like here. It should be one of these two. Look, maybe not bad, but actually, because it's got customization. What I do here is performance-wise, it does suck. It's not good. It's pretty bad performance-wise. So it should realistically be in bad, but actually in meh. But for some reason, I want to put it up here because this car has sort of like brought this new life to the game for me. And I don't know where and why, and maybe it's just timing, but the game felt fresh there for a second, did it not? 
I don't know. It's still just as stale and hollow in, in many aspects, but it felt fresh for a split second. So I'm like, maybe I... I don't... I don't think I can put it in anything other than... It's not bad. Like, when I think of bad, I don't think of this car. I think it's, it's all right. It's meh. It's good. It, it's not bad, but it's... It's gonna go in meh. It's gonna go in meh, but I might have wanted to put it in bad. Oh, God. Is it just the rose tinted glasses? It might be. It looks really nice, but its performance is rubbish. But it's made the game feel fresh. But that could just be me. But it. Oh! <laughs> I'm gonna go with. Uh, bad. There you go. Well, we've got a lot more cars to cover. But that's gonna be about it for me. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you to popular members. Especially thanks to Facebook members. And an insane thank you to star members. Uh, there is none. Head down there and become a star member. And an insane, insane top of the top thank you to Icon members, HK. That's going to be about it for me, boys. In a bit.